Hi, welcome. I'm Denise DeFara. In this video, I'm going to share some bits in my sketchbook. It's kind of a long, slowish um, process where I chat a bit as I'm doing it. And in the first section, as I was editing, I realized I had the, the, the camera overhead of the things that I was drawing. And so the actual drawing was completely out of the frame. <laughs> so I didn't mean for that to happen. Um, and then I'm just chatting through another double page that came from the, a sketch that I did. So um, yeah, I, just that kind of encouraging that compassionate way of looking at your art practice and being in the world. That's kind of what I'm up to at the moment. So I almost always start with tea. Um, and this was me bringing myself back to um, a nurturing space in the studio and opening up a new journal. I found a way to overcome that sort of nervousness of the first page when you open up your sketchbook. I kind of like opening up, and previous times I've talked about opening up to a welcome page, but for the last two little ones I've just gone in with pen and been drawing, or with pencil. So what you're seeing with my teapot, cup and the pens and pencils, I just started um, roughly kind of sketching in those things as they were. And um, before I knew it, I uh, had kind of finished drawing them and done some lettering and realized that I hadn't had the camera pointing down at all. So that's okay. Um, you get the idea. It was just a way to bring myself back into the studio after quite a big break and kind of exciting opening up brand new first page. Um, so yeah. So I've had this picture up um, just near my desk for quite a while and because I just it, I was delighted by it and now this idea that I'm wanting to try and visit with still life um, I really love the looseness of this kind of painting like by Matisse I like that there's kind of black outline happening um, and he's painted it loosely as well. So these are things that I look at and go, ah, oh, I'd like to do something a bit like that. And so what I did was just drew from this picture um, onto my new little sketchbook. I started this um, on the 14th of January, just sort of drawing a few things at the table where I was. Um, and just wanting to get myself going. And so this, this drawing, it made me really happy. I just did it this morning and it made me feel so happy. I just loved everything about it. But that's the thing, I love it like this, as it is. And so, and I wanna start sort of having drawing from a photo or from life, drawing it in here, and then seeing if I can use these as reference. I've, I've learned that from Sandy Hester, um, that idea, um, but I haven't been able to put it into practice much yet because I've done such a different way. I've got a, such a different process where most of my paintings have been make a big chaos mess first and then see what else wants to happen after. So the idea that I would have a scene or still life um, set up and I, I want to end up with a painting of that is sort of new, new territory. Um, but this idea of the still life is really calling to me. And I notice, you know, it's it's got wonky uh, line work, but still kind of tidy and well behaved, I guess which um, is interesting the more I try 
and get away from that the more it wants to be so that that's curious to observe and so I wasn't going to film this because I thought oh, I need to really feel free um, because it's such new territory but I thought I can um, maybe video bits and pieces along the way and see what I learn and so what I got from this so far was I used a fairly fairly fine sort of brush but as you can see the lines still came out really quite thick which I don't mind but I thought I don't think I want that thickness of line everywhere um, and this funny lady you know like she looked really nice with the fine pen you can sort of just get real detail and still be a bit loose and so um, it's interesting trying to bring her onto this also I thought oh I wonder if um, when using a page like that would it be actually better to um, zoom in and try and do a smaller section and have have it be the whole the whole painting you know um, so I might have to kind of try many ways to see and that that's what I'm really um, encouraging myself is to come back into the sketchbook because I lost the practice of that um, over Christmas and um, and it's really important I think to have the sketchbook practice because it's where you can make these mistakes I mean even even this I'm kind of going quite slow and you can feel that perfection and the you know you're wanting to get it right you know get it right first time don't want to ruin it or whatever but then you can remind yourself no no it's all right it's just paper it's just on a sketchbook don't don't get precious because you want you want to move something forward so This is the other little journal that I got. It's one of those art creation ones with the soft kind of off-white pages. It's quite gorgeous. And the fact that it arrived, it's looking and feeling so cute and square. It seemed obvious that uh, little Dee Dee, my little one that I draw, wanted to make it her own. <laughs> so I think she'll be featuring in this quite a lot. Um, and so I just wrote, we're sort of freaked out at the perfection of a new and lovely petite sketchbook. And so then, as soon as I did that, it, it sort of opened the way for it to keep going. So that was lovely. And so I'm just making little drawings. I might share those another day. This little entry is this morning. I experienced a really lovely feeling as I was at the beach and I wanted to capture that memory. And it kind of um, started with just the, as I was taking a towel out of the cupboard to go to the beach, um, to just have a little walk and a little swim, <clears throat> which is my most best way I can start the day. I don't do it nearly as often as I could perhaps. And so um, this morning, it, it just called to me take the circle towel so I thought alright I'll, I'll take that as well and um, I when I had had a little walk and then went back to the car and got my towels and things brought it back to the sand and, and laid it down and sat in it it was sort of really lovely there's just something about changing one small thing you know if instead of a square or a rectangle I was sitting in a circle and I do quite a bit of kind of circle work, imagining t different types of things. So it was really quite a beautiful feeling to be sitting in the circle. So um, I want to capture that memory and maybe do it more often, you know, getting myself um, out of my head and into, 
Yeah, getting myself out of my overthinking and sitting on the sand really helps you, you know, helps you to connect to the earth sitting on the ground. So I think that really, I felt the benefit of that this morning. So here it's going to be in my page to remind me. That's what I've got here. And I was contemplating using um, my little permanent fine liner to draw in the pieces. And then I thought I just could messily color it, but it's, um, it's still not, I don't know if that's what I am after. I think, um, I will say that I was surprised at how sort of dark this color, this gum tree green. I was quite kind of surprised at how dark it comes out on the paper because this is the reference I was going from and I suppose there's a lot of light hitting it there and then there's sort of shadows but do you see how I kind of my eye made the assumption that oh okay I could just put a background down similar to this and really after it dried I realized no it's so much darker so um I've just got a delivery of these little things. I ordered, I think, 50. I don't know, it was eBay, so you couldn't really order a small amount. It was like 50 or, you know, lots. Um, so what I'm going to do is make some little mixture pots um, that I can you know, just sort of use brushes and sort of go for it a little bit more. That was something I've um, been wanting to try. So this one, they're actually kind of hard to take the lids off, which is a good sign because I think then they should be able to be quite airtight and keep the paint um, wet for maybe a little while, which is good. So that's the, um, this green tr uh, gum tree green with just some white so it's kind of paler a bit so this one looks a little bluer in comparison you know if I was wanting to go with that sort of color so I'm I'm just gonna see where this takes me I think I'm hesitant to use too many colors because that can get and even as you see this is a photo but there's actually not many colors standing out. You know, there's yellow, pink, black, white, and everything else is sort of fading as being a bit, reading is quite neutral. So it's kind of a quiet feeling palette in a way, but kind of dramatic, funky items. I doubt whether I can um, include any of those in my painting, that would be, it's not my um not my cup of tea so <laughs> this is yes more more this sort of stuff um so yeah that's what's happening today and um i'll see see what i'm prompted to do next and i may just turn off the camera and um check in with you at another stage because i want to keep kind of going forward and having that sort of feeling of freedom built because as I said it's it's um you know sometimes you're starting almost from scratch again when you're learning something new so um yeah I'll I'll check back in with another update when I've got one so here's what I'm thinking um I I was thinking, oh, it would be quite nice if I could make um, a, maybe a bit of a pattern on the tablecloth. So I've been contemplating how I could do that. Um, and I also thought it might be nice to paint these white so that I can just go ahead and draw little faces in them like I did on this one because I just enjoyed it so much. It's like... When I looked at this this morning, I was so excited by it. I wanted to just go straight away um, and make a painting. 
and you know like on a canvas a big huge one and I had to just pull myself back and go can you please just play for a bit and get my head around just playing you know and not needing it to be a thing so with that in mind um and treating this sort of like a painting but again without the pressure of it but I thought yeah I could um paint these white so then I could just draw in them and maybe the background um thinking of this paler color and oh that's what I was wanting to say and so I thought oh it might be fun to use this new paint that I've got um antique white I think I've already got it in a tube but here I am buying this because it was yummy and I thought oh I would really like it if it was matte because that's one thing with um, Matisse structure they dry in such a way where it's not matte usually not matte and but I've got some matte medium that I kind of bought for a reason that it didn't work out for so I've got this big bottle so I thought, oh, why don't I mix some of this and this and see if I can make an antique white matte paint, which would be quite fun to have. So again, I can use this little pot. And I'll just sort of put, you know, uh, that much, which is probably quite a bit. So I can put a, quite a bit of paint with that amount of medium. It's kind of yummy, isn't it? It's um, it's a warm, warm white. This will make it sort of um, runnier as well. See, this is quite. You know, you could do kind of impasto thick paint if you wanted with, with this one but yeah with all of that medium that I've put in there I think I'm sort of thinking maybe like 50 50 might be an all right mix I think I bought that matte medium thinking it was sort of like going to be almost like glue going to use it as glue um, but yeah oh that's Quite nice. Doesn't look white at all, um, really. Uh, but I think what it's reminding me of a little bit is, you know, this is like an off-white paper, which is really quite lovely. There's a bit of a warmth to it. Um, it's not as stark as a very white page, so really quite enjoying that. That's a new to me art journal, art creation by Talons. So I've never had those before. This is my um, first one of those. And so here I've got that. I'll try that. Yeah, it's almost a little bit transparent. I wonder if um, that's because of all the medium thinned it out quite a bit. So I might have to paint it twice. It's amazing how when you want to paint loosely, but it's still, you still defer to a neatness or something. Like it's a, you know, the way you're used to doing something wants to carry on. It's, it's interesting to try and do, do something differently. See how they kind of look quite white because of this dark background? Once you've put it on there, like it doesn't look white in that pot, but on, on this background it does. Hmm. This is a mirror. Um, interesting, isn't it? That, I thought that was a mirror, but it looks like it's just a frame, an empty frame. So I might just paint that this color as well.
as I'm re-watching and as I'm editing this video, <clears throat> I, I kind of think I played it safe with this color palette. I didn't get adventurous and I didn't make a pattern on the tablecloth. But there's little things that I'm learning by doing. And drawing these little faces in these little frames made me feel really happy. Um, you know, just just letting yourself do the thing that you're up to doing at the moment. Making little um, little ways in to trying something new. They all start to add up. That's, that's what I notice really importantly about the whole sketchbook process. You don't have to be making masterpieces. You just have to be making a page. It can be anything, but it really is helpful to show up, to showing up for yourself to be free, I guess. So yeah, I think it will, it will be a whole um, journey um, that I hope to take myself on more often this year to bring myself into the page and um, Oh, just making even small incremental sort of improvements. Um, it can only happen by by showing up, I guess. That's that's what I'm realizing by doing. And so um, I hope this has been a little bit helpful. Some of the things that I've been able to share in this video, and I'll try and get better at. Um, Perhaps it might be better sometimes to, actually I don't know, I'm learning as I go. So with the tablecloth, it's just a bit watered down of the off-white paint that I used in the little frames. And um, I think I, in a way, lost uh, interest in doing anything else. And maybe a bit of that, I don't want to ruin it thing came in. So yeah, that's where the page sort of ended with um, just that simple white tablecloth and, and the coloured wall. So I'll see if I can push it further next time. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.